Well, hello there, Mega Maniacs. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. This is another package from Japan. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. Might be able to tell what it is already, even before I get the bubble wrap removed. Thank you to my almost 600 subscribers as of the recording of this video. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you still trying to get to 1000 and hopefully get my monetization back at that time so your support is very much appreciated and if there's anything I feature in any of these videos that you want to see footage of just leave me a shout and I will get that out at some point got two that are currently planned Got a bit trip one requested by Woodbury, and that's coming soon. And I believe it was Ryan Taylor who suggested I play Metronomicon Slay the Dance Floor, as well as the producers of that game. So that will be a stream at some point as well. Probably streamed first on Twitch and then uploaded afterward to YouTube. That will be how that works. But here we have Mario and Wario. And you're saying, what on earth is Mario and Wario? You've probably never heard of it unless you've seen a YouTube video about it. Well, it is a Mario game that was only released in Japan that works with the mouse the same as Mario Paint does. It is a mouse-based game, which is actually very similar to the March of the Minis wind-up games for DS and various other handheld systems. You uh, guide Mario through a maze because he has a bucket on his head and he can't see where he's going. So you use the mouse to move him along. I have a Super Famicom, so I can actually play this game on the original hardware without using emulation or modifying my Super Nintendo. I can play this straight up on the Famicom, and now I have a copy complete in the box. So pretty freaking awesome. I am happy about that, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Mr. Mega Man Fan. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!